Okay, so the new Hellboy movie is out, this time played by David Harbour, not Ron Perlman. And in this movie, Hellboy and his crew is on the hunt for the Blood Queen, played by Mila Jovovich. This resurrected ancient sorceress who has the mentality that humans are bad, they treated us bad, blah blah blah. And so she tries to trigger this end of world scenario. While doing so, she tries to bait Hellboy into siding with them. Hellboy then has the tough choice of choosing between the supernatural or the humans. This is not a direct sequel to the original films, this is in fact a reboot. Which, when I was watching this, kind of threw me off guard for a moment. Being someone who has never seen the original films prior to this one, there were some things that I didn't really understand in this movie. I feel like Hellboy's origin story was explained pretty well with him being the demon that was kind of rescued from the Nazis, but I didn't really like the execution of that scene because it came along way too late in the movie and it kind of felt like they were talking down to you. It was just the voiceover. I mean, I wish it would have been executed better, but I actually really like David Harbour as Hellboy. I think he is easily one of the best, if not the only good thing about this movie. He just had this sort of Hellboy vibe to him. Some of the characters felt like they had some kind of relationship to Hellboy in the past, and so some of the scenes with them in it, I didn't quite understand. There also seems to be some references in this movie that I didn't really understand. Somebody in my movie theater was laughing really hard at some of the things in this movie, and I didn't quite understand why. It kind of made me feel like this was a third film, which it obviously isn't, it's a reboot. But I just find it odd how there were things that I don't quite understand coming from someone who has never watched the previous films. This movie does have humor at its core, or at least tries to. Most of it does come from swear words, but it mostly feels like swearing for the sake of it. Didn't really feel like it served too much of a purpose. The same with the violence and the gore. This film was very violent and bloody, and I feel like it was just violence for the sake of it being violent. This film was rated R, and it could have obviously been rated lower, and it would have done perfectly without the gore or the blood. I just feel like there was no need for it. Like some of the violence and gore in movies are warranted, but in this one it just felt like they added it just for the purpose of making it R rated. This movie had some surprisingly bad CGI at times, to a point where it just became really noticeable. And speaking of bad things, the antagonist of this movie was absolutely terrible, which is a shame. She just didn't really have anything going with her. She just seemed like this queen who would just let her minions do all the hard and dirty work. She wasn't very exciting as a character. She had like the same tone, the same voice throughout this whole entire movie, which is a shame because I actually like Mila Jovovich. And while I was not a particular fan of the Resident Evil movie series, I think she performed pretty well in those movies. I found myself liking the pig a lot more in this movie. I really liked the relationship between him and Hellboy in this movie, and I wish that was explored more. His character arc ended very subtly in this movie. <laughs> It was, it was just like, oh, that's it, you're done, end of your character, bye bye. The music was okay. Most of the time in the fight scenes, there would be this rock music playing, and I thought that it fit with the scenes quite nicely. It kind of made the scenes feel more badass. Although I really wish Hellboy was more badass. There's this part in the movie towards the end, and without spoiling it, would have been much more badass if they followed up with it. But they didn't, and I can kind of see why. Because if they followed up with it, it would have made the movie way more darker. But now it just shows Hellboy as this good guy, rather than the bad guy. This film was fine. It's not one of those movies that I particularly hate, like the Pacific Rim films. I wouldn't say that this movie wasn't memorable either. I honestly enjoyed Hellboy's performance in this movie. It's just that everything else was so lackluster. But did I have fun with this movie? I wouldn't say I did. I wouldn't say I didn't either. At the end of the day, I don't think it deserves the amount of hate that it's getting from critics. I would just say that this is a completely average movie. There were hardly any sessions for this movie on the day that it got released, so I guess I could have seen something coming. I'm going to rate Hellboy a C. 
So Hellboy, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Please leave a comment about your thoughts below. Like the video if you liked it, and drop a sub to help the channel. Also, feel free to check out my previous video. Until next time.